replace the material, magnetic mount on, turn the switch on, and we're off to grind. This is the Parker Majestic number 2 surface grinder. What is a surface grinder? You use a grinding wheel to grind off a very, very flat top surface of something. Alright, take it, let's take a look. So immediately we see the grinding wheel that's right here, made with very, very hard material bonded together. And this thing rotates, as you can see, like that, uh, by a motor that's back there. And that rotation, when you move this grinding wheel down, using this handle up here, so if you move it like this, as you can see, that's going to move down. Okay, so, other movements are down here. So we have these two hand wheels. This hand wheel moves the table left and right. Left and right. And this hand wheel moves the table back and forth. Out and back and uh, forth and back. All right. So using those movements, we can turn on the grinding wheel rotation and it'll start spinning. And then what we do is move the grinding wheel uh, down with that upper hand wheel onto the surface, onto the top surface of this uh, iron block we have here, and we grind off the top surface. Now we need to mount this iron block somehow, you, and this is where the magnetic chuck here comes into play. Uh, any magnetic material, so if, if it uh, contains iron, say like steel, then you can mount it on this magnetic chuck, and it will not go anywhere. So right now it's not mounted, so you can move it. But, as you can see, we have this little switch to the right here, and if you switch it on, then suddenly the block becomes much harder to move. And now, how does this magnetic chuck get its power from? You can see that there is a little cable going out here, and this cable contains actually just two wires. The two wires go into probably a big coil of wire or a series of coils of wire. Uh, and then down here, you can see that those two wires goes into a low control box and into just normal 120 volt alternating current 60 hertz that plugs into the outlet right there. In this set. And then the rotation of the grinding wheel. It gets its power from a three-phase 120 volt alternating current, 60 hertz, and you can see this motor here, and the, and it's got these wires, three wires into this switch box, and as you can see, there is a start and a stop button. Right now, we haven't wired it, we haven't turned on the three-phase power, so it won't turn on. But yes, that is how it works. You've got this uh, wire that comes down through here and into the three-phase converter. Rotate the vertical hand wheel to lower the grinding wheel. Slowly test how deep a grinder would put on the material. You can tell by looking at the sparks that fly out. If you get none or a few sparks, the grinding wheel was too high because you'll spend time doing not much grinding at all. If you get lots of sparks, the grinding wheel is too low because you will quickly wear out the grinding wheel into unevenness. Once you get the height, make horizontal passes across the material. When moving the material left and right, watch your speed to reduce wear. Better slower than faster until you develop a feed rate intuition. When moving the material back and forth, try to move the grinding wheel distance just under its width to in order to prevent uneven wear of the grinding wheel. Depending on the unevenness of your material, you may have to make multiple surface passes at lower and lower heights. Make sure that you surface grind the entire surface with a given height before lowering the grinding wheel more.